Emmeline is going to show us how to do balsamic pickled apricots today. This is a fun recipe to have because it's something unique and different to do with apricots. The first thing that we need to do is we need to begin to make the sauce or the syrup and get it simmering on our stove. So let's grab the saucepan here. And what we want to do is start adding the ingredients we have out here. So first is half a cup of water. And then we want half a cup of any all natural fruit juice. And so we're going to use grape juice today. This is one I have in my pantry that I canned up and juiced from the grapes on my parents' grapevines. So let's see here. Oops. Other side is the half. Yeah. There it is. There we go. It's kind of fun to use your own canned goods when yeah. you're making other canned goods. It's a lot of fun. I'm just going to set this back here. Sure. The next thing that we need is half a cup of honey. Help me get this one out. So these are the sweet ingredients that we're going to add. And now we're going to add in our pickling agent, the balsamic aspect. And so we have balsamic vinegar. You can either use the white balsamic vinegar or dark. And we need one cup of balsamic vinegar. Oh, I'm just going to the half cup mark again. It should be just about all of that. Okay. Perfect. Now just to give it some additional flavor, we're going to add two cinnamon sticks and six whole cloves. What we're going to do is we're going to bring this up to a boil on the stove. And then once it's at a boil, we're going to turn it down to a simmer and just let it sit five minutes. While our syrup is beginning to boil on the stove, we're going to keep an eye on that, but we're also going to begin prepping our apricots. We've already measured out two pounds of apricots, and you want them, you want them pretty ripe. And all we're going to do is pull out our pits and quarter them. We're going to be filling half pint jars. If you think the quartered is too large for your jars, you could always even eight them. You just want to get them chunky. Now that our vinegar syrup has begun to boil, we just need to decrease the temperature just enough to keep a really light boil. So you can see what we have going on right here. We just want to simmer, so just some bubbles coming up. So we'll turn it down. Don't turn it down too low because it might drop below that simmer point. Just kind of turn it down slowly. And we're going to simmer it for five minutes. This smells so wonderful. Yeah, no, this yeah. is going to be super great. Okay, this recipe is supposed to make five half pints. What we want to do is we want to pull out five. We have extras in the oven. We're going to pull five out. Begin by putting a little bit of the syrup in the bottom of each of the five, filling in our apricots, and then filling up our syrup. If we have any left over, then we'll pull out another jar. Okay, I say we just strain it right into there. Mm -hmm. So let's do this and then set that off. We have a little strainer because the cloves and the cinnamon sticks are there. We're going to set this little strainer on top of our funnel 
And then we're going to go along and just put a little bit in the bottom of each and that will catch our clothes. And this makes it so that when we put the cold apricots in there, they don't end up um, breaking the jar. Perfect. Now what we want to do is begin by just filling up our jars. I'm just going to kind of put a couple in each one, make sure they're spread out a bit, and then keep filling. Let's see, I'm going to go grab our chopsticks. I'm closer. I'll okay. grab them real okay. quick. Because I think that'll be helpful. Chopsticks are super great for pushing the fruit around. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Inside your hot jars so you don't end up burning yourself. I like to use the back side because it doesn't poke into the fruit as much. This will be especially important as we add all of the syrup around the fruit to make sure that it gets down yeah, in the air pockets. The air pockets. Yes. Okay, well, I think we're going to have enough, well, at least as far as the apricots go. Right. But since we're doing other recipes today, if we have a few little extras here, we'll just use them in the next one. Right. And we have little people running around who are more than willing to help us finish off any fruit. Exactly. Okay. I think that's pretty good. What do you think? I think that's great. Let's now top them off and see what we, whoops, wrong way. Huh. How are we doing there? A little bit more. We need to leave one quarter inch headspace. There we go. Try not to make a huge mess. Got just a little bit more. There we are. It's hard to pour a little bit. Yeah, it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's got to go in and around. Okay. You got it? Got For it. this, you might want to use the tip. Yeah. Because you can slide it down against the jar. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's kind of fun and pretty. Right. Okay. With the different colors there. Yeah. Get some of the air out. Okay, let's try this one. I mean there's really it doesn't take much. No, it really doesn't. Okay, a little tiny bit more on that one. And then a lot of times those air bubbles will kind of work their way out too. So going back mm -hmm. to the ones that you've already done and just kind of looking around and making sure there aren't the air pockets in them is a good idea. Let it work itself down. Right. Let's come back to this one. Okay. A little bit more in this one. I'm making such a mess over here. That's all right. Okay, looks like we can top off each one just a tiny bit more. This one's okay, got about. Are there any pockets in there? That one looks pretty good. Yeah, oh, maybe right a there. One right over there. Yeah. Okay, tiny bit more in that one. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, too much. Well, we're right on. We might have to spoon a little bit out. Which is easy enough if you end up getting a little too much. You might have to spoon some out. Let's go a tiny bit more. Let's see, there's a pocket on that back side. There it goes. Okay, and let's see, there's just a little one here. Maybe it'll. Sometimes just kind of going down and moving it around. Like it seemed like there was too much in there, but. Now there's not. Okay, here we go. This just kind of have to finesse the fruit around with this one. Especially with a soft fruit like an apricot. It'll hold a lot of air pockets. Uh -huh. Okay, a little bit more in this one. 
Oh, it's good. And let's top this one off. Okay, yeah, it's like, looking pretty good. We've got some tiny bit more in that one. And then that will be it for us. We're definitely going to need a wet rag. Yes. To wipe things down. Let me go grab the one we like. So for this step, all we do is we take a nice clean wet washcloth and we're going to just wipe down the rims of each jar. Now remember, these are hot right now. And then we're going to stick our lids and rings on. I'm getting both the sides and the tops because we made quite the mess on this one. <laughs> it was pretty messy. Yeah. Sometimes the messiest stuff is the yummiest. Right? Oh, that's <laughs> like... I think that's just a part of canning. Sometimes we should give you guys like a behind the scenes and show you all the rest of the <laughs> kitchen here. <laughs> you know? Maybe we should do that on this video. <laughs> yeah, we just talked about it. <laughs> Yeah, you only see what we want you to see. <laughs> the boxes of apricots, the packages of sugar, the bins of everything else. All right. We're now going to place these into our boiling water bath canner and we're going to process them for 10 minutes at sea level because we live at over a thousand feet, we're going to process ours for 15 minutes. If you're unsure how your elevation affects your processing time or how to use a water bath canner, we have some canning basics videos that we're linking right here for you. Our balsamic pickled apricots are all done processing. So now our favorite part, we get a bowl now. Yum. I am so excited about these. We actually ended up having enough sauce that we did just a few more. But look at that, how fun, huh? They're beautiful. With the dark sauce and the light apricots. And if you use white balsamic vinegar, you would obviously have more of the color of the apricots. But I think with our red grape juice and the balsamic those just look beautiful they're gonna look so great in my pantry our pantry mm -hmm. <laughs> If you end up with a bit of leakage like this, what happened is the apricots and the juice, it, the syrup, ended up just a little bit higher and it's leaked out. So we're going to tighten the lit ring and those may or may not seal. If they don't seal, you'll just need to put it in your fridge and make sure that you use it right away. And honestly, that's always fine with me to have one. <laughs> Based on our results from this, we've really determined that it would be best to leave a half inch of headspace, and we'll make sure we put a little note on that ahead so that if you're making it with us, you'll see it during the process. Um, and that should help you avoid some of that leakage that's going on there. 